Hello guys, welcome back to another Darken video and uh, yeah, this video I will be talking about what just happened to the Darken side on the global. Okay, so basically, let me just jump straight into this. I uh, went to sleep last night hoping that I could wake up and spend 400 red coins on strength cooler, you know, because you know, it made no sense what they did, I will talk into that, but... So I wake up today and I check the Discord, I check my messages and they tell me that Cooler is not on the banner. And I just, I couldn't believe it at first, I had to double check, but this is the banner that they gave us in June. This is the banner before the anniversary and it makes zero sense, even from a business standpoint, why they would even do this. Okay, so they keep this okay, got the Beerus, got the Whis here. Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. Now that would be... I did talk about Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku on the last video I did about this banner, about Beerus coming. But I didn't I didn't think he was going to replace Cooler. Like, I thought that the last banner before the anniversary, they would try their best to get people to drop their stones. So maybe you could have gotten rid of Kaioken, maybe you could have got rid of Tech Beerus, but not Cooler. And the rest of them are literally the same. Look, it's so done wrong that they've even left the SR of Cooler left on the banner because they kind of forgot to uh, change it around. So, uh, yeah. Ridiculous banner, ridiculous banner. Now, me and a lot of other people have been wondering why have they done this? And I've got a, I've got a roundabout idea of why they may have done this. First of all, is that if you look at the timeline of events, now, so this is when Cooler came out. This is around, I'll give me an exact time frame, I guess. This is, Cooler came out, you know, a bit further down. But if we look up, guys, look. Into Future Gohan came out first. Now, this kind of is a big deal. Because as we know on JP, they got this guy back on the actual Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken banner. So when they, when JP got this for the first time, they got this guy back. We got this guy, I think, yeah, we got him 3rd of February and he has not been back since. I have not seen him. And... Cooler, on the other hand, came out 2nd of March. So basically a month afterwards and, you know, you were expecting to get this guy today. Doesn't make sense, but still, I always thought that Darker would try everything they could to get you dropping stones on the banner. If the banner had both this guy and this guy and oh, what not what, and this guy, honestly, that would have made even me, you know, maybe drop like 100, 150, you know, you know, three good units, including the Beerus and the Wii. So like, that's that's a good banner. And instead we get this, like, unless this is Dokken's way of saying we don't want you spending stones for the anniversary, save them up. And then they put this, if you read it here, it's maybe a bit hard for you to read, but use 25 stones to perform a multi summon that grant you 5 characters, like, a little step up thing, why? You don't, mass you don't massacre the banner and then want us to drop stones, I I'm sorry, that, that, a, that doesn't make any sense. So how is the banner like this now? The only reason like this, so this is like kind of should you summon as well. Now looking at this banner now, obviously the anniversary is coming up. This guy may be worth your coins if you pulled Ultra Instinct Goku and you want to run Ultra Instinct Goku at like the highest strength. You will need this guy to link up with Ultra Instinct Goku. But do it either in coins or maybe like the first step if I don't know, like don't, don't do too much, like I wouldn't do, nah, just coins, just coins, like honestly. This guy will be back on many banners, like don't worry about it. Remember, it took tech hit a year to come back to us on Global. But this guy's come so early that I think he's just going to be normalized on mo most banners now, you know, so you'll see him here now and again, so don't, don't worry. Namiku. Loads of people. I've been saying about how much they love Namaku, how much they want Namaku. I can understand Namaku's a good unit. 
pretty solid. I mean, not the best unit, in my opinion. But guys, even so, like, he runs a Super Saiyan and Planet Namek Saga. This Super Saiyan team is not really built for the most free-to-play friendly of people. And yet, yeah, he's a nice unit, but this unit won't take you places, if that makes sense. Like, if you're struggling on the Legendary Goku event or certain SBR, this guy is not the unit for you. If you want him just purely for fun, because you've got everything else done, yeah, that's fine. But don't pull him hoping he's going to magically help you do some events that you're missing. This guy, on the other hand, if you're free to play, if you're pure free to play and you've not got that much units, maybe do try and pull this guy. Because if you pull this guy, that pretty much means you've actually got a team. I'm talking to the people now that can't even do Super 2 on docking events. If you're like pure new to this game and you're like trying to figure things out, this guy will help you figure things out. Honestly, this guy just helps you out so much. Pure sane leader with a super class lead sub. That will just help the easiest of players. Trust me. That's one. Beerus is pretty nice and uh, still he's not that free to play friendly either because he needs a specific team built for him in the sense of you know his links aren't catered to normal realm of gods units i could have a look at him here yeah so looking here now innocence and don't see that on realm of gods and it's uh, like literally godly power and fierce battle yes shocking speed sometimes you know it's like literally he links up with the beerus units beerus and reese units and nothing else but beerus and reese units so you know again if you're mid to late game player, honestly this banner right here is for the whales, but even the whales aren't going to touch this banner this close to the anniversary without strength cooler on him. And the worst thing is, is they're doing this to try to maybe, the only thing I can think of is they're trying to make us use our stones, not stones sorry, coins on the anniversary. Just so we can't buy cooler with coins. That's the only explanation i can get why they've done all this because they know everybody's going to buy strength cooler with 400 reds and be done with the banner that's fine but cooler's not on the banner he can't be bought for red so i don't know what's going on but then again when it was gobos coming out for global everybody was able to buy gobos and it was fine so why they've made it so weird right now i don't know because uh let's just have a look at this that's a full video, never mind. <laughs> but anyways, like, is there any more information of this, by the way? Well, yeah, so at least we got some stones to farm now. Like, the Beerus is crazy. Like, honestly, I think he's got one of the highest attack per turn of any TUR, not including easy A's, by the way, because, it, you know, Vegito Blue still destroys him. So this guy is great. Like, he's a great unit. He's still not worth summoning for, though. Unless you've got, like... One or two dupes in your LR Beerus and you want to run LR Beerus a bit better. Yes, I guess so. But still, you have to be more than a dolphin to justify dropping on this banner this close to the anniversary. When I mean more than a dolphin, I mean you need to go way past the sales. To even, you know, even think about dropping on this banner. But you know, Beerus will be back easily. This guy, people... Some people have got it in their head that you need this guy to run with UI Goku. I don't know which YouTuber went over that, but no, you don't. <laughs> they don't link up that well together anyways. And if you really do want to run the rotation for some odd reason, he's going to be unfeatured on any banner. You're probably going to pull him in the anniversary if you're going hard. So, yeah, he just don't care about him. Other than that, guys, yeah, that is the banner. What do you think? And uh, how annoyed are you if you were about to buy him red coins? Because I was happy yesterday i was ready to jump on get some strength cooler showcases with different units you know i was about to have some fun and my fun's been cut short <laughs> fun has been cut short but yeah it is what it is i guess this is dokken's way of saying to me save your coins save your stones don't drop this is such a waste of a banner they've messed this up if they just put strength cooler on this banner as well and got rid of one of the lower units I can guarantee people would summon. People would be dropping a little bit of stones. But yeah, guys, that's what I think. How do you think? Do you think that was a good business plan by them? Do you think that <laughs> it was worth it for Dokken to do this? I've seen the outrage on Twitter already. Anyways, this is Kuzan, and I think I'm going to bounce out, guys. See you guys.